Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we are back. I'm trying to thrift a brand new car. This is episode number three of this series. If you guys haven't checked out the others, be sure to do so before we kick it off today. But uh, we got the internet going nuts. Oh, you fat man. I, 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 I got, I got the internet like going nuts. So what's up guys? Before we hit the trenches, I just want to show y'all this rack that is stuffed with 147 van tees. I am going live on whatnot the day this video releases at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I'm going to sell all of these van tee grails. And hopefully these all do contribute to my new car fund. We also have a ton of giveaway items. So if you guys don't have a whatnot account, use my link to create an account. You'll save 15 bucks off your first purchase. Also, in this video, I hope to have a ton of the items listed and ready to go either before or by the time this video airs. So just check my website as well. And thank y'all as always for supporting, for liking, for showing love in this club. And without further ado, let's hit the Goodwill bins for the win. I plan on finding gear in there, doing some cash outs, and just trying to accumulate as many items as possible that I think are so magnificent. Let's get it started today, Junior. You've been hiding, never letting it show. Always uh, trying. Let's get ready to rumble. So, uh, where the heat at, bro? Good morning. What's up? Ooh, I just got stabbed. Gently used? Hell yeah. The sumo sumo jump man. Big jump man. So call you fatty. Look at that. On some bum stuff already. Oh, we got this stiffies. Dang, this color of Levi's is clutch. Bro, made in USA. Oh, God. Oh, my God. oh no. I'm gonna turn these into some shorts. Bro, this suit jacket is so tough. Oh, I'm about to get shot up in here. Dang, grandma was set tripping in this. So that's opening in the books. I only got like four things that I know for sure I'm gonna get. Cool little floral suit jacket, bum equipment, and then the pants, I'm gonna transition into shorts. With that being said, y'all, Gucci? No way. I'm gonna do some parking lot cash outs because I need to build up some bangers to implement in my whatnot lives for you guys. So uh, let's go out there and cash out. Another cash out. Damn! Chicago Bulls chalk line, got that beautiful patina to it. Dude, this is crazy. Oh. It's wild that it's chalk line too. Yeah. Satin Bulls. Bulls, dumb clean. Yeah, it's clean as f that OG shit. I had the red and white one. For real? Yeah. Dang. Yeah, I brought some heat today. Bro, this is fire. It's like 2002, I think. The Vondafone Man U. Nice Nike. Color. Yeah, that is a good color. Golden jersey. This one is tight. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that one is nice. Very nice. Carhartt, Santa Fe. Yeah, that was tough. Damn. Appreciate you, bro. I gotta get your whole fit in the camera too, bro. Sweat. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, most of the time it like cuts off at your head because I'm so close. 574. Bro, this is a crazy hanger. Bro. The hell is that race. 90s hanger? Bro. Beans, bro. For real? Yeah, I was like, damn, I need that. I got me like a whole pack. So you wanted this one, right? Yeah. What about the chop one? I'll grab the chop. Man, bro, that one was sick. I mean, it's not crazy, but like 04. But chop. And I love Floyd. He's Kenny Chesney. Oh, that, that that's not Kenny Chesney. That's Kenny f Chesney. God, <laughs> dog, was this supposed to be yellow or somebody really sweated in this? <laughs> oh, here's that one for you, bro. Keeper jersey. This Dude, this is fire, bro. Sick. Why is this whole small as f It's like a youth XL or some shit, bro. I'll hold on to this one, just know that. Oh. That's tough. Be Rayvon, Brocco. Oh hell yeah! The homie Abel came through and blessed me again. You already know. Red circle. Appreciate you, bro. All right, we gotta get these hangers off. Round two. 
fight! Hey, this is a cool ass guitar to you. Yeah, Aquaberry Vamoose. <laughs> Fuck is a Vamoose? Yeah. What? That is hard. You don't want it? This is borderline true vintage. That's crazy. So yeah, this is solid. Number 11. And this bad boy is solid. So right when I was about to leave, the man, the myth, the legend, Chewy came through with the Joe Cool Snoopy skateboarder and the plush. I'm gonna give this away on the live. So guys, thank him and give him a follow on whatnot too. This is tough. That's my man's right there. You might as well break out the calculator, dog. Well, you just put a five and uh, I think seven, no. Bro, give me seven, because it's small. Ten. Eight. I, I, I. Oh, that's my daddy right here, baby. Bro, give me eight with the stains, uh, bro. Eight with the stains. DBZ? Look at the bag, though. Ten. All right. Oh, this is my boy right here. Is this my boy Garf? I don't even know who that is. That's Garth Brooks, baby. This fool's a legend. Friends don't <laughs> let friends drive drunk. The Jesus Cowboy brand. <laughs> What? Pause. What is this guy doing? Hey, yo! Okay, Rain, Rainforest. Fine. She got on the drag ski. Fine. Hometown heater. Ten. So 199 plus one. No. Guys, look at what this man is pulling, bro. Ain't no fucking way, bro. Oh my god. Ain't no way, All from the original owner. Ain't no way, Dude, this guy. Look at this. Ain't no way. Look at this. Ain't no way. Look at this. Damn. Bro, these are some ones you don't see that much. No. Wait, no wait, boy. All right, y'all, so we have arrived. The next spot on the block is another family thrift shop. So we're in the trenches, and I found one thing. They have a ton of jackets, so many that I can't even move through the rack, and this is the only one that was cool. That high tech? What? No prescription needed. This is very cool. Vintage color blocked windbreaker. And then look at these new balance. Y'all can't say these do not smack, man. Nine bucks. Then back door, baby. They got the old school Adidas track pants. Tree stripes trifoil with the calf embroidery. Very nice. Adidas. Okay, y'all. We are up out of there. That store was hot garbage. I got like three things. And that is all my guys. All right, y'all, so we are in the next spot. What is that, Gucci? Hold on, I'm actually gonna have to check this out. Man, the purse section is really distracting you. Boy, I think it might be time for me to make the full on switch. But look, goal first and foremost, man. The most throwed off player, but disrespected jersey. Why is it looking like this? So damn funky. Hold on, I've never seen this sport with single stitch promo tees. You got lacrosse history and tradition. If y'all seen The Last of the Mohicans, or I think that's the movie, they're playing lacrosse in the opening sequence. Then you have lacrosse down under, single stitch Australia tee. Whoa. My man is in touch with nature. The original wild form, Barry. What you mean? Leather, tag, Native American? Beautifully dyed the mountain tea. Yo, this is new, but this is crazy. That's crazy. Shout out the young Pakistanis that made this. This this was made in Pakistan, and they absolutely went bananas on it. No way. Look at the flower by Eddie Bauer. I just had to wrap that. Where's Kinky when you need him? It is all about the you. It is all about the you. My boy doing a stanky ibis leg. All right, man. This piece is pretty sick. It reminds me of the Durkios cereal. It's the Baltimore. Cheerios made with big sluggers. It sounds erotic somehow. I'm gonna get this bad boy, man. Homie munching on balls. What? Bro, praise the bird gods. Single stitch St. Louis Cardinals. One bird, one hat, one bat. Sway. So you guys know, man, this is my squad. This is not circa 9-2 before I was born on the all sports single stitch. Look, I'm gonna say this. What do y'all do? If you pull up to Yellowstone and they're slinging the 90s merch pack, bro, I'm copping all of it like a Travis concert, okay? I'm grabbing every single piece of merch, circa 1991, classic 90s design and contrasting colorway. 
Bro, they had geo trackers in this color scheme. Dumb. This is hands down one of the coolest, the most disappointing pieces I've ever found at the same time. It is the vintage Lion King, all embroidered, old school Disney store tag, covered in stains. Like if there were a few more, you could get away with like 101 coating Dalmatians or something of that nature. But with all of these different scuffs and stains, it does kind of lend to a historic past where someone was renovating an entire crib and repping their favorite Disney movie at the same time. I'm gonna have to go ahead and grab this guy and it will be available on my Disney Whatnot live stream. I'm doing a Disney round two to try and thrift my way to Disney World. I have been pursuing this goal for the entirety of this year. And uh, we're halfway there. We did a Disney Live and I've been stacking up gear for another one. So definitely bookmark that show. Go on my whatnot. My username is Thrift God. Hit that little icon, bookmark it, and get ready if you guys are a Disney fan. I will include this guy. The accessory section is smacking aggressively. Look at this. Nothing like wild animals smoking nicotine sticks. And then you have Bob Bishop, my brother. You need to work on that signature. Signatures should be illegible at all times, aside from the first initials, unless you're a third grader, which you shouldn't be drinking the silver bullet of Coors Light at that age. But hey, how you're raised, that's up to your parents. Shout out the good parents worldwide. You all appreciate. That's how I feel, feel. That's what it was. was. Five red dragon on a stretch pearl rug. Yeah. No time to snooze. snooze. No time to lose. lose. Bad yellow bitch by my feet. Change all right, gang. Soul. So we're at the next spot, the Family Thrift Center. We're going to see if I can slowly grab more items. Hopefully, the store is stuffed. But usually, I walk out with like two to three things. But I want to curse myself. So let's just get up in here and find out for ourselves. All right, y'all. We are in the building. And check it out, dude. I found a couple of hats, the Macon Bacon, my boy busting the pan with the metal bat, and then all oh, the shot, those shocks actually look cool. Then you have, I don't even know what team this is, bro. This is an old school new era. You can tell by the back snap. Wait a minute. Holy sh they're charging $13 for this. I wish I might. Excuse my French. These guys are smoking wiener. Tripping. That is insane. How much is this, $3? I got excited for no reason. They are tripping. Personal file, tripping. Hey, so the homie Alex is up in the building right now, man. Being a good dad, showing his son the way. He's found that Christian Dior just chilling. Damn, that's he, bro. I had to show it off for the people. Just look at these, man. These are actually my size, the Nike Shocks. Circa 2000, so 20 damn near four-year-old shoes chilling in here, a bread colorway. Do I cop the shocks? I don't know if they would just disintegrate upon me wearing them. Also, we got the Texas Tech champion, the cut and sew champion. I think I gotta get these and maybe the shocker doodle boos. And then I also had to grab another one bird, one bat, but no hat, $2. Dude, so we're up out of there, man. I actually found a couple, couple things. Shout out to homie Alex. That guy was cooking with the Christian Dior. Oh, so it's out there, bro. So uh, yeah, man. I'm pretty happy, satisfied with my things. Time to get on to maybe one last spot. We're blessed. All right, y'all, last locality of the day and check it. Ain't no way, I haven't even seen these t-shirts before. The single stitch Houston World Champs 104 KRBE, but then the Choke City, New York, the Big Apple, y'all know Houston, H-Town, hold it down. Braveswood, baby. All right, we got a goal in terms of women's soccer. Look how high quality this jersey is. But man, it got a couple of small flaws. Authentic oh, gimmick that Abby Wombat. Not to be confused with a Wombat. Shout out Australia, but it's about America right now. This is a gorgeous jersey. Allegedly a size small. This looks like an adult large. From my Y2K daddies, we have a power pack. You have the Jinko jeans, the Velveteen Dream wrap around tribal and i know jack jack danielle's on that you can tell it was on that thick guild in 2004 and this is probably around the same year all right what a smacker from the lone star state the stanley cup 99 champs the dallas stars crazy clean colorway they should do cars in this like the forest green the gold and the black little chrome accents That'd be nuts. I am not a fan of the Packers by any means, but I'm a fan of this Russell Athletic USA made piece. 
Got to, y'all know my philosophy, the sleeve never deceives. You got Nala looking gorgeous. I'll cop. Last and not least, we got the Bill Belichick custom flea market special. What? That Gucci. I think it was on the screen stars. Cut sleeves. Coming in at three quarter, exposed wrists. That's how you know these guys are working with some crazy rollies or something on their wrist. All right, y'all, and just like that, we are back and behind me. We have a million and one clothes. I hope y'all sincerely did enjoy this episode because it was fun to shoot and find all of these divine thrifted vintage items. I just wanna thank you guys again for riding with me, for rocking with me for all these years and all this time. If you guys have been following me for a minute, please sound off in the comment section. I always like seeing how long people have been rocking with your boy, whether it's been a week, a month, a year or since 2012 i really want to sincerely from the bottom top and all in betwixt of my heart thank you guys for all the love appreciation this truly is an amazing career a hobby a job and i feel very fulfilled with what i do so thank you guys very much if y'all want any items again i am gonna go live for an hour to two hours after this video releases at 7 p.m central standard time Tuesday on whatnot and I do that pretty much every single Tuesday and then if you guys want other items check out my website we have a ton of sweaters crew necks t-shirts it overall is just stuffed and there is new gear added there hundreds of pieces on a weekly basis so whatever is your pleasure get a gift a little piece for the holiday season for someone you love or for yourself either way i appreciate you guys and the least you can do is just smash that like button on the way out for any updates and to see my reels and extra content please follow me on instagram my username is mr paul can too on my personal account where i show off fits and mini thrift reels and then my business page to stay up to date on website drops new gear that is releasing on the sites and the whatnot that is thrift heaven vintage on instagram until next time peace out i will see y'all very soon shoot next week we got a big ass live with true vintage gear and also before i go i do want to tell you guys how much we have made so we made one thousand eight hundred fifty nine dollars in eleven cents going live and i made one thousand four hundred fifty two dollars and fifty seven cents on the website so total we have seven thousand three hundred twenty three dollars and 98 cents towards my brand new vehicle so i may be able to purchase it next episode depending on how well this banty live does go i did shell over some money for that but i will update you guys on all those brass tacks on the next episode peace and love i will catch y'all soon i'm gone Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I rooster. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to. You should get used to. You should get used to.